What's up everybody, it's Brenton Brown from Forza Tuning and Performance. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about some, um, some stuff that we do that is not strictly performance based. So um, we get a lot of inquiries that if people get the feeling that they don't know that we also do a lot of cosmetic uh, modifications as well. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit and just kind of highlight some stuff. So right now I'm in the front of the shop, this is our lobby. Uh, normally you always see us in the back of the shop. So a little bit different scenery. So what I have behind me is a carbon fiber hood, okay? And I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. So what this is specifically is a demon style carbon fiber hood, and this is for a track off. So I've got the front of it here, and then I've got the back of it. And so this is, you know, looks very similar to the demon hood scoop and everything. Um, what I wanted to highlight is the, the underside, okay? So um, these hoods come from Chad at Black Ops. I'm gonna start off by, you know, just emphasizing the the difference in quality among carbon fiber products okay and you see a lot of stuff and the quality is drastically different so you i'm sure you've seen some carbon fiber stuff that you know um, starts to fade and laminate very very quickly um, that's cheap carbon fiber um, this is extremely high quality carbon fiber and the the main difference is this is going to look like this um, for a long time, not look good for six months. So that you get what you pay for just like anything else. So personally, this is my favorite track hawk hood. Um, so I just want to kind of show it to you. So it's available in fiberglass and then it's available in a carbon fiber outer shell, which is obviously what you see here. And in a fiberglass inner shell, um, which is this portion, it's actually two pieces together. Um, or obviously like this, which is carbon fiber outer and carbon fiber inner. Um, this is my favorite, you know, as you can see, literally the underside of this hood is, is gorgeous. It literally, I mean, it's a, an absolute piece of art. You know, it's probably, pictures really don't do this thing justice. But I want to highlight this portion right here specifically. So this is a fully functional Ram Air hood. So what they do is they've got a piece of clear Lexan right here. And it allows you to basically you can look through the Lexan and you can see the carbon fiber weave and they've already got this wired for you. They, they ran wires through um, the inner and outer pieces of the hood um, so you can run LED lights inside here and backlight this, um, light out through the front of the scoop. Um, made it very easy for you to, you know, add LEDs if you want to. And then obviously you can see the air coming in obviously through here and through the entire scoop and it's being funneled over here and this is where the air filter would be. So performance wise, this is a really good performance modification as well as, you know, um, aesthetically, it looks really good. So you can, you can force a ton of cool air directly on top of the air filter, which is where you want it. Chad has a few different style hoods. You can go on his website. It's Black Op Auto Works. Um, he has a lot of really cool stuff um, for different cars, but he does a lot of Trackhawk specific stuff. So we work hand in hand with him on a lot of stuff, um, especially things we want to develop, you know, out of carbon fiber. Um, Chad would be my go-to guy. On the exterior portion of the Trackhawk video, I'm going to show you a piece that we just developed. You know, I, I, I had an idea for a replacement panel for the back of the Trackhawk, and I wanted it to be carbon fiber um, or fiberglass, whatnot. And basically, we had a lot of people inquiring. They wanted it to delete the rear Jeep badge. And the panel, it's basically, it's an outer shell on an inner plastic structure. And when they put the badge in, there's a huge indentation where that logo goes. So we have tried, several paint guys have tried to fill and smooth that. We've tried taking a section out of another piece and plastic, and plastic welding it in. Um, but over time, especially in a place like Florida where you got a lot of sunlight, you can always see roughly, you know, some imperfection in the finish when you look in there. And if it's anything remotely like that, I'm super detail oriented, so you know, it has to be perfect. So, got with Chad, um, he was all about the project, so sent him some stuff out there, and he made it. Um, and we'll be selling these, they're actually in production right now. Um, they turned out phenomenal, you know, just like everything else he has. Um, so you can, you know, pair it like with the lower spoiler or without or, or whatever you want to do. And actually the Trackhawk that we're going to show you, the, um, the black one, it has a lot of stuff that Chad offers on that one. So that's going to be a perfect example to show you some different stuff that, you know, um, it's not only available to him, but different things that we can do the track off. Um, we offer a ton of different services, whether it be um, like color matching body parts. So on the track off specifically, 
um, the little around the grill, um, the little circles. They're kind of this gray plastic, and then around the lower. Um, and to me, I just I don't think it looks all that good. You know, I think it looks better when you take that stuff and you match it to the color of the car. Um, so we do a lot of that, or you'll see stuff on some cars where it's like black textured plastic, kind of makes it have a cheaper appearance. So uh, uh, a common thing to do is to take that and smooth it out and then paint it so it looks like the finish of the car. Um, I think it gives the car a much higher end look. So we can do stuff like that. So we can basically do anything that you want. We specialize in 100% turnkey cars, whether it's custom steering wheels, um, interior stuff, paint stuff, whatever it might be. We can take a car and we can do whatever you want to it and deliver it exactly how you want it. So this is the carbon fiber hood. Um, well, I'm going to kind of continually show you all not only some performance stuff, but some different stuff that we do um, cosmetically. Um, just maybe, it, if nothing else, it might give you some ideas for your own project. And then if you all need uh, advice on like um, who we think is good in the industry and makes quality stuff, we're more than happy to give that advice and hopefully send you in the right direction. So um, we're gonna, this about wraps up the hood. So let's go ahead and go to the next thing. Hey there guys, this is Logan from Forza Tuning and Performance. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a crank pin kit um, and changing the, the stock pulley to an ATI pulley on this 2018 Trackhawk. Okay, so this specific Trackhawk here is actually pretty cool. Uh, not other than that it has a 6.2 uh, supercharged Hellcat engine in it. It also is a very rare production color. This car actually only had 33 of them made in this color here. It is blue slate pearl. And um, it's actually a, a really nice color. I've only uh, seen a few of them uh, personally, and this, this is one of the top notch colors out of all the Trackhawks I've seen. And uh, it actually clashes really good with carbon fiber. So if you have one and you wanna bring it in, we can put some carbon fiber bits on it, I'd love to do it. So what involves changing this crank pulley, um, we do remove the whole top core support, all the, all the front bumper, um, just so we're able to take the radiator out without damaging it. So if you'd like to see exactly what go into these cars, you could check out the Ultimate Trackhawk series. Um, it explains every single little bit that you need, and if you're interested in getting a kit like this, um, that is something I would definitely check out for yourself. But now uh, we're going to go over to Brent working on his Lamborghini. Hey, what's up everybody? So um, we're over here on this Lamborghini. What this is a 2015 Aventador Roadster. And what happened was there was just a little bit of mild damage uh, to the quarter panel. Um, these cars are incredibly hard to see out of. Uh, there's a lot of blind spots. So although he had paint protection film on here, it got you know into the paint just a little bit. So what we did is just disassemble it, take the quarter panel on the rocker R, um, had the paint guy um, fix it obviously, and now we're just putting it back together. So put it back together and then it'll be ready to go and then we'll redo paint protection film on this quarter panel. Um, the guy used a, a clear that cures very, very quickly. Uh, it's extremely hard. That way there's not an extended curing time uh, where the guy has to ride around with one shiny quarter panel and the rest not. You might notice that the rest of the car is matte, so that's not vinyl. This car is gloss black, and what we use is satin paint protection film. So it's pretty common on the exotic cars just to cover, especially just the front or the entire car in paint protection film, which is just a, a clear film um, that most of them, if it's done correctly, you can't even hardly see that it's on the car. So you can get it in a satin finish and it will make give the paint appearance um, a matte look. Um, so a lot of people like that. And if you get tired of it, you can peel it off and your paint's protected the entire time it's on there. So we do uh, mostly mechanical and performance stuff here, obviously, um, but we do do stuff like this. Um, some of the body shops, they don't want to take the cars apart and they'd rather paint the panel. So we'll take the car apart, deliver the panel to them. Um, they paint it and we, we reassemble the car. So this kind of falls in line with the mechanical aspect of it. Um, obviously, this is just minor. There's no frame damage or anything of that extent um, where we have to go to a body shop or something like that. These cars are pretty complicated to take apart. Um, especially to this degree. So you do have to, you know, you have to take a lot of stuff off to get the quarter panel off the car. I'm a little bit more involved with a, than a regular car, but I mean, nothing that's um, crazy, you know, just you gotta be, you know, detail oriented. Um, make sure you take pictures, notate stuff, bag stuff up individually. Um, but other than that, it's just, just a little bit more involved than a regular car. So this kind of wraps up basically what we're doing with this car. Um, just a reminder, we do have a, a whole new apparel line and merchandise launching probably second, uh, second week of October, first or second week, I'm not sure yet, they're working out all the kinks on the website. 
Um, the media department is going to be putting out uh, different samples for stuff for you all to vote on, different designs that you all want to see, um, and then we'll base off that and we'll have those designs run and probably some limited production and then some are standard apparel that we'll have, you know, is, is you know, our go-to stuff that we always have. So be on the lookout for that. We'll mention it in the videos. So that about wraps it up. Um, hope you like this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And again, obviously hit the thumbs up if you like it. And we'll see you next time.